Alright, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. We are here at Colony Omega. Uh, just to deal with something related to Kamuravi. This is something decent, right? Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, I actually had to reset because I, uh, I was gonna start closer. Uh, but then Tyon said something and I didn't want to uh perhaps we should pay go. to the lab there might still be something hidden there so yeah this is unmarked strangely enough uh so yeah bring Kamuravi here this door will be open and let's see what's gonna happen here what is this place and is that a cradle? Oh, I assume that's what... Oh, because... Okay, okay. I think I know what's going I on. remember this room. Anything you want to tell us, Kamaravi? This is where I awoke. Met Miyabi and the others. So that means that cradle is... It is no simple cradle. Fitted inside is a device which matures a life to a state close to homecoming. So it's in that makes sense. a quick aging. So that's what Y used when reviving Mwamba and the others. Kamaravi, is that cradle still usable? The installation works, just barely. Why do you ask such a thing? Uh, Ethel, you're not thinking... Our enemies are supernatural beings. Monsters who use human lives for fodder. You can all fight against them, but me, as I am now, I'm barely able to protect myself. All I can really do is hang back and watch, so as not to be a hindrance. But, suppose I was to use this cradle... Ethel, you don't have anything to prove. As far as the choices available to you go, you could also return to the city and live a peaceful life. Yeah, that's yet, not Ethel, I don't think. You want to throw your body back under war's grindstone and spend your life fighting. But then, you are ever thus. By the time you speak your mind, your body and soul are long ready. I think you should do as you wish. Kamaravi, are you sure it's fine to embroil her in what's ultimately our fight? Ethel's path should be hers to choose. I'm certain her resolve is firm. If she wished for a life of peace, she would not have followed us this far. The way must have been inside her all along. I suppose that's true, yes. But still... I am anxious about the result, same as you. Nevertheless... As a devoted follower of none other but the warrior's way myself, I wish to respect the will and resolve of one who has chosen the same path. I believe Ethel's freedom is hers to do with as she wishes. Thank you, Kamaravi. At the same time, I am of course not in a position to decide such things myself. I mean, I guess that's what we're fighting for, desire. right? Would you tell us your opinion in turn? <sighs> Well, what should we do? I mean, ultimately our whole fight is to let people have the freedom to choose, isn't it? It would be of utmost hypocrisy to say no. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I was wondering how they would have Ethel... Uh, be able to fight again. I guess this somewhat makes sense. Oh, look, and magical clothes. 
somehow the clothes just magically reappeared. Interesting. There's that red dot in her, the middle of her eye now too. I was wondering, because that was missing from her younger model. How are you feeling, Ethel? Oh, never better. I mean that literally. It's as though new strength is welling up inside of me. This way I'll be able to fight by your side too. You have my thanks. Huh. What's wrong, Kamaravi? Silvercoat. Oh. Silvercoat? What does that mean? He still remembers. I'm not sure. When I saw you just now, the word simply came to me. Fragments As of the past. was guiding me. What in the world? This sensation. From where did it spring? Kamaravi. I can explain. Yeah, we probably should explain to both of them. What we should them. be thinking about now is the future. What we can achieve in unison, no? Huh. I said I could be your eyes. That has not changed. Just as you showed me the way before, let me now be your guide. You are right. You can see that which I cannot, indeed. I wanted I want to live life true to myself, but the answer is still I not clear. I want to bring these two to the, uh, by working together to with their Pharaonesses. I wonder if there's extra dialogue there. Let's search for the answer hand in hand, Kamaravi. With unity between us, nothing can be impossible. Oh wow, okay. There oh, we so go. That's how they're doing. There we go. Okay, um So that's that. Uh we have Ethel in our party now? Yes we do. And this time she's not gonna randomly leave our party anymore. Um I do want I do want her class on a lot of people. The uh Capable hands is just such a good skill to have on a lot of, on, well, everyone really. Um. Oh, there we go. I never unlocked those, I guess. Uh. Okay, so that's one hero quest down. Uh, I w I do want to try bringing them to. Is it in Pentelos region? Yeah, it is. I really wonder if there's any unique dialogue there. I hope there is. If there is, it, this is going to be like one of the best like games ever in terms of just character dialogue. Even even if there's not, it's still been really amazing, but I'm really hoping there is. Hey Ethel, you does this jog anything? No? Okay. I guess that's fine. I was kind of hoping. Come Ravi. I'm eager to get out there. Nothing. Pursue the shadows of the past. Oh, there longer. we go. Right, Ethel. There we go. So Kamaravi does say something. Ready for duty. Let me just run around here.
Yep, they must have known we would have brought Kamaravi, but maybe not Ethel. Well, either way, that was nice. Uh, I'm assuming that could have I could have heard that earlier. It's going to be my assumption. Um, so okay. What other character quest do I want to do? Let me check the classes real quick. Uh, War Medic gets antibody system. Antibody system, what does that do? Shortens duration of debuffs, not really important. Life saving fist. Heal self when auto hits. Up to maximum of 100% of healing power. That's not bad for like something like uh, Medic Gunner, I guess. I already did the upgrade for you. I already did the upgrade for you. I can take Preemption. care of Preemption get. Oh, that's what was giving me an attack up. Okay. Uh, not very useful. Swift death. Sixty percent more damage. Uh, not really the most effective thing in the world. Maniac. Higher leveled enemies. Eh. I'm so over leveled. Leave the enemies to me. I for a weak point. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's really good actually. Okay, so I want to try to do Alexandria's. I'll protect you. Uh what is what did you what does yours give? Come and get me. This does nothing. Um when blocking deal a hundred percent of attack damage back to enemy and draws aggro. Uh not bad. I already finished yours. I Leave the enemies to me. Don't think I need yours. Leave the enemies to me. Frenzied combo. Uh, on crit, recharge art by 25%. Huh. That's not bad either. I can take care of support. Troubadour gives me Dance of Barrage and Swift Song. Boost all allies' accuracy and evasion by 10%. Oh, that's really good, actually. It's just a, it's just a straight up boost. Leave the enemies to me. Awakening. What does what does this give? I wasn't paying attention. Greatest warrior universal annihilation. Okay, universal annihilation is pretty good. But I already got yours, so not a big deal. Okay, so, uh, Leave and I think this one's me. not really great stuff. Boost damage dealt when attacking a debuff. It grants 30% resistance. Yeah, yeah, not so important. I'll protect you. Okay, uh, so we're gonna do Incursor and Troubadour. I think, or the two that I want to do. So we need Alexandria in our party. Alexandria. <laughs> you just leave things to me. And your place is in Fornis, I believe. Yep. Okay, I need to complete the quest scant supplies. Uh, which I'm not sure. It's It's been that way since forever, so I assume I could have gotten hers a long time ago. But, uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see if I can find it. 
So yeah, I'm gonna run around, see if I can find any information nodes, and I will be back once we do some discussion. Alright, so I only found one. I assume I have to finish this one before getting Shall other other quests this? that are involved, so... Uh, yeah, we were... I did see the Collectopedia cards that were completely garbled messages. I just assumed that they were bad with technology. Uh -huh. Okay, so I guess that's what we're doing. from here oh so that's how they're doing what were you what the huh okay Okay, so we're heading to the tunnels. That's in Pentela's region. Oh, is it that guy? Hang on, I remember now. There was a guy that was stuck behind rocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I totally forgot about this guy. Okay, where is it? We're really going in here? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Let's uh, no get this out of the way. Yeah, there was a guy behind here, I'm pretty sure. any other question marks here i know i can't also finish uh juniper's quest but uh you now can say so report to sequoia and we're done is that it now we just got a report to sequoia and we're done correct uh anything I've never else i even thought of using collectopedia cards like that i just hope nothing bad comes of it I'm sure Sequoia will be fine. It's to save it's to save their own lives. Maybe maybe she'll add like an SOS function as a feature or something and then it's gonna break the whole feature. The the one adding one feature is gonna obviously break the whole program. Don't uh, you think it's about time for a meal? No no, we'll have a meal later. Uh huh. And there we go. Quest complete. Oh, so that's how they're doing. 
Um, okay. Are there... Is there a question mark? No. Ugh. Alright, so, uh... Figured it out. Um, so I needed to use up more of the, uh, Colony Iota supplies. Which I think there's still a few here. Yeah. Um, I now have no Colony Iota supplies for these three people. So yeah, uh, if you're stuck, that's what you need to do. Uh -huh. There we go. Goods in storage. They're running kind of low. Which makes sense. For a quest name Scant Supplies, that probably means that we need to uh, lower the amount of supplies that we that actually do have. Okay. So let's go ahead, uh, here we go. I've been craving some downtime. Let's discuss. Let's have a little huddle up. Colony IO storehouse is going to be in trouble pretty soon. Yep. We're burning through, uh, yeah, I mean, we have zero left. Uh-huh. There we go, scant supplies. And I'm just ignoring Colony Zero, I'm sorry. Alright, let's get going. Time's a waste. If anyone's a fan of Sagiri, I uh I apologize a little bit. Not a lot, I apologize a little bit. But um Colony Zero is just not my top priority at the moment. Uh It's right here. Yeah, Colony Zero is just not a priority. Um, hello, do you have any ideas on how to restock? Aw, Tyron's embarrassed. Score poxes. <laughs> the monsters go on a big journey. On a desert and ribby flats. Alright, uh, let's go check on those guys then. Let's see. Oh, right there, huh? That's a pretty easy place to go to. And then one in Dana Desert. Hello there, do you guys need help? Uh huh. So we need to... Oh, I guess I already had the... 
I guess I already had the supplies. Okay, that makes things easier. Oh, I needed five triple leg joints. Yeah, I got it already. The other one. Huh. Yeah, I still think this is the easiest path to go, maybe. Yeah, it's on that rock. I think we can come up this, we can go way. Up this way. I think we can. Nope, we can't. Ah, uh, level 25s. I remember when I was exploring this area. I remember. That was a whole thing. Got really tired of seeing score poxes for a while after that. Okay, that's a lot of score poxes. You guys need help? Yeah, we'll buy you some time. Level 49. Hey guys, let's focus on one. It's one down. Two down. Three down. Four down. And that's all. Uh, you okay there? <laughs> You, uh, you okay there, Kozel? Kozali? Uh, you okay there? Hang on, I'm, I'm, I want to record this. Oh, you're, you're fine now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is that everyone accounted for now? I believe so. Oh, so Looks that's like how it. they do it. Let's get back to the storehouse and tell Shell the good news. Map. Taurus Hollow, all the way to the hidden stash. Hello there, Shell. Everything went a okay. So uh, she wants 
uh, Alexandria to change. Oh, we have 15. We have more goods now. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and give those out then, because we might as well. Um, I'm gonna give it to Colony Mew, because Colony Mew are my children, and... Uh, And I guess, I guess, I guess we'll give them to Zeon. I guess. Yes. Looks like we're all done. And that leaves Colony Taw kind of to dry, but uh, we'll be fine. Um. Okay. And now this should let me... There we go. Alexandria's quest. Been Can a I just walk through here? Just All ask right. yourself. Can we really afford not to do it? Please convey this to Dame Alex. Look, I'm telling you, there's no way she'd agree. Hi, you I'm seem to right be having here. Fun. Mind if I join in on the pleasantries? Huh? Day Mallet? Um, we can explain everything. Don't trouble yourself, Chickadee. I'll hear it from him directly. I want to hold a tech summit with Colony 30. Continue. I know you're reluctant, but now that we've been released from the flame clock and the wall between Kevis and Agnes has crumbled, now's the perfect time to institute a tech exchange. If it's successful, it could even lead to stronger, more lasting peace. He's not wrong. You had problems with Colony he's, 30 in the past? He's not wrong. We fought against them before, just once. But they oh. absolutely wiped the floor with us. Ah, Alexandria before, must not be a... Uh... Alex misread an enemy to that degree. Ooh. The bitter aftertaste from that event has lingered for years, giving us all headaches. Ooh, Alexandria is a... Uh... <laughs> Who's bitter at whom now? It doesn't sound half bad. Let's have a technology summit. Really? Oh, she's a bitter. Dame Alex? Kevis's Colony 30 stands at the forefront of technology. This is not a problem in the slightest. Not at all. Truly, not even a speck of one. Not even close. Now we've done it. Chickadee, contact Colony 30. Tell them I'm coming. Yes, understood. Gambert, we will rendezvous there. I'll bring results home, you'll see. Of course, Mom. I'll depart on the double. They've definitely got skills there, but this is Valdi we're talking about. I don't think you need to get so worked up. Suppose I told you that Colony 30... was currently struggling with an urgent water shortage. What would you imagine? Huh? Oh, I don't know. First water mains or something? Don't or they live right on... Up? They live right Incorrect. on top of a lake. The right answer was big cleaning project at the colony. What? Oh, you have got to be joking. Regrettably, I am not. It really happened. That does kind of sound like Valdi, though, huh? It does. There are also it doesn't surprise me. They tend to follow their own unique rules. Precisely. They are unique, and therefore worth studying in greater depth. Knowing your opponent and preparing accordingly... That is the foundation of any battle. Do you still consider Colony 30 your enemy then, Alexandria? This isn't about enemies or allies. All I'm saying is that the side that gets careless loses. You're still thinking so about it in terms of winner and losers. Them. What are you trying to say? Hurt others first to avoid being hurt yourself. Do you think that's logical? It's a matter of opinion. And you're entitled to that. Say what you will, but they've got a good colony over there. Ah, uh, right. If you don't mind, could we attend this technology summit of yours? 
Just to make sure nothing goes, uh, just to make sure nothing goes wrong. Yes. I dare say with you by my side, they may be less guarded than otherwise. I suppose I may require your assistance. There we go. Inescapable pass. Uh, there's been a change in colony relations. I'm sure there has been. All right. Oh, there's Valby right there. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Let me just lean back in my chair and watch this happen. Whoa! Whoa! This... this is all just so over the top! Yes, though mainly your reaction. Ah! Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting. Hey, pal. How you doing? Not too shabby, I suppose. Riku, Chief! Manana! Friend Valdi! Manana missed friend! <laughs> yeah, no need to be shy, Chief. I haven't used Valdi in a while, too. Levels, bud. It has been a while. I'm glad to see you in high spirits. Thank you. And yes, I'm pretty good. Um, who's this? She's the commander from Colony Iota. You got the message, right? Oh. You're Auntie Alexandria. <laughs> Thanks for reaching out. <laughs> Auntie Sandria. It's Alexandria, actually. It would honor me greatly if you'd remember. Alexandria. A pleasure to meet you. I'm the commander of Colony 30, Valdi. This will be my first technology summit. I'm really excited about this. I myself, not so much. Hey now. Really? You don't like Levinus's? I don't. Especially yours. I see. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Then I hope that by the end of the day, you'll have learned to love them just as much as I do. With all these passionate You're a credit to your colony, Commander. But don't you think you should be on your guard, even a little? Why would I? We have no reason to fight. There we go. You might be the only one who thinks that. <laughs> Obviously not. If I was, the others wouldn't have brought you. You trust them, don't you? Just as you do, right, Alexandria? Yes, of course. Hmm. All right, then. Let me show you around. There's lots of stuff on the ground, so you'll have to watch your step. I have nothing to hide from friends. Feel free to look around. Thanks, Valdi. Thanks, bud. There's been a change in colony relations. Oh, are we just gonna slowly oh, follow him? Happy, he? I bet he doesn't get to show off like this very often. I love it. Everywhere I turn, there's hardworking Nopong. Oh, they're not working. They're just doing their own thing. They snooze when they're sleepy, and meet when they're hungry. Sometimes they just wander off. Still... They look quite busy. What might they be making? So, just listen to this. I've been thinking about it a while. We're looking into constructing a smaller, stronger levels, focusing on three pillars. Durability, serviceability, and ease of use. Uh, those Actually, are important the pillars. the whole premise of our work, like fixing things, might need rethinking. If you put too many features on one levelist, then you need more time and parts, and it ends up costly and hard. Not to mention the handling, so to get out of the cycle. All right, calm down now. Huh? But I was calm. <laughs> I like this guy already. <laughs> Alexandria's like, hmm. This new model's design is really very interesting. Thank you. I'm happy you think so. Oh, hey. Do you want to work with us? We've just been looking for team members for Project Bingo. Project Bingo. Bingo. It's what I'm calling this new model. I was thinking about it, and when I figured it out, it was like Bingo. So we <laughs> named it that. Sounds great. Very valuable. I spent lots of time thinking about stuff too, so I'd love some hands-on experience to really improve and. Gambert. By which, of course, I mean. Do you have any units in a state closer to completion? 
I'm sure I do. I just made friends with one such unit recently, in fact. What do you mean, friends? Exactly what you think it means. She's in the hangar over there. Uh, oh, so that's how many illnesses does he have here? These are his friends. Correct. I don't worry too much about it. This is Valdi. I also do need to finish this, uh, but I assume I need Val to f continue Valdi's quest in order to finish this massive project thing. Ah, oh, there she is. Oh, what that's an Agnian. Wait, wait, wait. Robo Buddy is a friendly. Robo Buddy? <laughs> it's this little one's name. Where'd you pick it up? Oh, yeah, that's an she Agnian. She was strolling about outside. It must have been on patrol, dude. Did you have to go and drag it in? He doesn't treat Kevesi as hostiles. Or does it not even distinguish between Kevis and Agnes? That is a purple but one. But would that be? Some error in the control circuits? There's no errors here. And she's not broken. You're conversant with Agnian technology? No way. Well, I guess I dabble, but there's tons of stuff I don't understand there. That's why I started tinkering with those that I do. First, the question of how Agni and Autolevs operate autonomously. I think it's mostly to do with ether signaling, but... I figured if we could break it down, we might be able to transmit stuff back to them from our side as well. Anyway, I spent ages racking my brain about it, but if you look at stuff like friend or foe identification, it gets mixed up. Wait, wait, back up. Are you saying you can control it? Well, it's not that precise, really. But at least we're friends now. Right? Is this for real? If they actually succeed at implementing this at scale... Yeah. It would turn the rules of engagement right on their sparking head. Valdi, yeah, what goes. are you having Robobody do? Just moving and disposing of materials. It's still in the test phase, so we're keeping things simple. Ah, so a janitor. And which section is in charge? That would be the bingo guys. Why? Why don't I ask you straight? Are you planning to use it as a weapon? No flipping way. I would never. She's not for fighting. I made friends with her to stay friends with her. Well, if that's the case, then it would seem you've missed your mark. Your friend seems to have other plans. Robo buddy, why? No use debating it. Ready arms. The G. Did she send a signal to it? Okay, that was a uh, nice and fast. Robo buddy. Well, that makes things clear. Somebody within Colony 30 has been secretly misappropriating materials. Misappropriating? What are you talking about? Look at the Collectopedia card. You said the three pillars for your new Levness were durability, serviceability, and ease of use. However, you'll notice that the materials RoboBuddy was collecting were waning lapis and vanolium. A brittle rock and a highly scarce metal. What ought we to think about that? Oh, you're right. This isn't what I asked for. But uh, hang on, Alexandria. How did you know to check our Collectopedia cards? I asked her to. I figured it might help. But it looks like I was right. Do you have any idea who the culprit might be? Not at all. Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding. No, Robobuddy clearly turned hostile and attacked us. Which is to say, 
It must have been under the control of someone other than Valdi. But what were they after? Might it have been to make a poison? Poison? Yes. Both of those materials contained certain toxic compounds. Of particular note is the lack of identifiable scent or flavor. When mixed in with food, they're nearly unnoticeable. Well, someone's well read. Our consul had some shady hobbies, and he liked to talk. Shady so, hobbies. What would happen if you swallowed it? Depending on the concentration, dizziness, numbness, diarrhea, emesis, and in more severe cases, death. Yeah, enough, enough. Oh, fantastic! I managed to retrieve the logs. If we analyze them, we should be able to figure out where it came from. Is that okay? A okay by me. We gotta stop the baddies. All right then. Sorry to use your friend like this. Looks like the friendship part might have all been in my head. But thanks for thinking of it that way, anyway. Honestly, such carelessness. Alexandria? You've been looking sad all this time. Hmm? What's She's probably matter? thinking, how did I lose to Anything this? we could help with? I'm... I'm used to all this, and I hate it. Alex? Did you hear me? It's nothing. You don't have to worry. All right. Analysis is complete. You can unpack the data whenever. Good job, Gambert. Why don't you wait here? Commander, I trust I can leave my man with you? Huh? I thought I'd be going with you. But there may be other machines like RoboBuddy. You're the only one who can tell them apart. Let's tackle both threads simultaneously. True, true. Let's yeah. do that. Okay. I'll stay in the colony this time then. Give Robo Buddy's boss my regards. We sure will. And what we mean by re uh, and what we mean by regards is uh What we mean by regards is definitely um a hammer to the face. I think I lost it. Hang on. Okay, where is this gonna go? Depending on how long this is, I might also just kind of skip to the end. Uh, that way we don't waste Diane, time just what's your opinion on this? running. It's mostly aligned with yours. There's something else going on here.
was a nice find. Alex, are you okay? You're not looking too well. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about the past. There we go, okay. We got somewhere. This is where the logs run out. Let's search the surroundings. This is where Uni found her uh her husk. No, hold on. Past there is Then, then, huh? We could just fight these things. <laughs> I didn't for a minute dream you'd fall for the oldest trick in the book. Dear Ouroboros, how do we ever fear you? I know that screech. It's the consul from Valdez. Oh, so it is Valdez. If I died so easily, I'd be a human. But as fortune has it, I. Here. I'm sorry. I couldn't care less. How primitive can you get? You didn't really think you'd fooled me. No. Huh. I knew you for a craven, Alex. You were plainly going to secure the retreat. Oh, so you do have two brains to have. Everything's going numb. <laughs> A very special litmus that was. Oh, it isn't fast acting, so relax. I formulated it for the water supply, you see. You're after Colony 30. It doesn't matter so much where. The important thing is the water. It will soon become the object of the most vicious raids! You worm! However, seeing as you're here, I might arrange a whole different playtime. <gasps> we can create a tableau of your little act of betrayal and see how you like it when you're the one being poisoned! Act of betrayal? <laughs> Mother! Stop spewing your idiot lies! Oh dear, you haven't told your friends then. Well then. I guess they're no friends of yours! <laughs> Master E. Her surface of ambition drilled her to kill her old commander. She brewed up a poison to make him weak, then staged it like he died in battle. Even better, she made her accomplices, team leaders, to shut them up. And they're still chumming it up today. Alex. He's telling the truth. I regret nothing. He wasted men and resources, clung to outdated tactics. If his tyranny continued, Iota would surely have collapsed. Oh, how crazy! How ghastly! Never knowing when one might die in one sleep. Unable to trust your friends. <laughs> I go so far as to say they lost their trust in you. That's right. And so? I'm not asking you to trust me.
<laughs> nice kick. You wrote to some cheap bait there. That's not like you. Everyone's got some husks in their closet. And as for me, I'm choosing to trust you. Oh, cut me! Right to the quick! In this game, to the crew get the spoils. Let me demonstrate in quick order! How about no? And how about you, uh... Oh, we'll deal with Q later. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of these guys first. Okay, focus me. No, no, don't focus them. Up. I don't have a smasher, I don't think. Okay, we can daze. Yuli can burst. Nope, Yuli doesn't have burst though. Okay, one down. Okay, we don't have a smash, that's fine. Mobius Q, let me get rid of you. Alright, oh, cause we fought him, last time we fought him he was in that robot. We never fought him as him. Topple, nice. Can we launch? Can someone launch? Nice. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna chain attack after that, but uh, I don't think there's a lead. There's absolutely no need to Shane attack here. I was thinking just like after Ouroboros, Shane attack, they'll do enough. Nope. Nope. Ouroboros was enough. Alex! I see a blind spot! Really, you think the rest of us... Let me go! 
You have to, or you'll... Alex, you said it yourself. You were counting on us. Uh, guys, the rest of you. This here's my friend. So back off! We're not done here! What is this? Don't swindle. Oh, okay, that was anticlimactic. That was too close for comfort. You can say that again. Oi! What the spark were you playing at? I seriously thought you'd snuff it. Hey, I trust you. I knew you'd make it in time. Probably. <laughs> Probably. What? On what basis? Well, I didn't exactly have time to ponder it. You smug little clod. Please don't frighten me like that. <laughs> Noah's just like... But why? I have teammates. How can you do those I things? Think. You could have died. Yes, but that's just Noah's way. How have you survived this long if you're always so careless? I'm telling you, we count on one another. That's how we've learned to do it. Perhaps I'm not explaining it right. But in any case, I think there's something rather elegant at the heart of it. So that's what you call strategy? I swear, you Ouroboros must be the most peculiar people I've met. Too peculiar to trust? If you were, I'd have been long gone. Thank you for trusting me. Right back at you. Let's get back to Valdi. He's probably getting worried. Yeah, probably. Um... We can just fast travel back, thankfully. Okay. Hey, Valdi. Uh, I met your. We met your former boss. Uh, he gave us a warm greeting, kind of warm greeting. Hey, welcome back, you guys. That was shocking news you sent. Didn't think I'd hear about Q again. I'm sorry about putting you through that. Don't worry about it. We've gotten a lot out of the bargain as well, I assure you. And I'm sure Gambert has been absorbing it all like a sponge. Dame Alex, about that. Respectfully, there's something I'd like to discuss, if you please. You want to stay here, don't you? How did you know? The Nuphon are staring. Well then, Valdi. What would you say if I propose a temporary staff exchange? Gambert, for one of your mechanics? Hey, Alex. Really? I think it would be intellectually stimulating for both our sides. All right, sounds cool. Let me quickly talk to my buds. Hey, Alex. Who wants to go to what's, Colony uh, Iota? What's brought this on? Pardon? Brought what on? Ah. Uh. Never mind. We got the okay. They say they'll move ASAP. Very good. This should help foster better relations between our colonies. What do you mean better? We're already fast friends. You're right. <laughs> I misspoke. Gamba, come on. Gotta introduce you to everyone. Huh? What? Now? Hey, hang on. Well, that's one thing taken care of. Right. About that. But we won't tell anyone about what Q said. I mean, it's not like you could get court martial for it at this point. We did kind of Still destroy the, right the castle. I can't say I approve <laughs> of your methodology. Indeed. If you try something like that again, well, we'll just have to stop you. And then we'll put our heads together to come up with a less bloody way. So no more agonizing alone. Got it? That's reassuring. If that's how you really feel, then let us help you. That is, since we're friends now and all. I... Hmm? Uh, thank you. Sure. And thank you too. Wow. 
that was for saving me earlier? I hadn't had a chance to say it sooner. You really didn't have to. It would have eaten at me if I didn't. I have to say, I thought you were more chill than that, Alexandria. Ah, she's actually kind of a sweetheart, ain't she? W what? Are, are you making fun of me? A little bit. It's that's just a that's bit kind of, of friendly what, uh, banter. You'll get used to it in no time. I was about to say, that's just what friends do. So she's learned how to open up a little. Good for her. There we go, quest complete. Inescapable past. Fifteen more colony iota goods. Oh, so that's how they're doing. There's been a change in colony relations. Okay, uh, so let me then go ahead. Where are you? We got it all as requested. There we go. I think that's all though. I don't think we can. Looks like we're all done. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some of these. I hope it made them happy. Okay, uh, and that means that next up is Miyabi. I love being with you guys. And hers is in the city, I believe. Right? Hang on. Oh, we filled out the hero roster. Yeah, go to the city and complete happiness. City, 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 right there. I assume that's it anyways. Placing markers. Hmm. The only time I found use for that was for uh, specific <gasps> level, upgrade. specific level enemies. Oh, hey, Monica. There's been a change in colony relations. All right. Mio and Miyabi. I'm assuming this is a reconnection time, or time to reconnect between those two. It seems pretty lively over there. What's the occasion? There's supposed to be some kind of cooking contest. Maybe they're preparing for it. Uh -huh. Oh, I was about to say, man, I was about to say, I hope Manana didn't hear that. Let me participate. Huh? I didn't know you cooked lambs. Me? Nah. I'm all about the eating. Think of all that grub. Ah, <laughs> oh, maybe I should join too. Hey there, folks. Hey there, Travis. Travis, Monica, we just heard about this cooking contest. Yeah, it's kind of a tradition around here. You know how the world is. You can't set foot outside without putting yourself in danger. People are going stir crazy or shut up with nowhere to go. They need a bit of light entertainment <laughs> to diffuse some of that stress. So these contests are kind of a regular thing. Ah, yes, I can't imagine this being shut like in home with nowhere to go. For you to, join in. to sample the food? Ah, I'm afraid the judges are selected by majority vote. They've already been decided well in advance. Aw, oh, sorry, Lance and Senna. That said, the winning dishes do get shared among the audience. So Perk you'd right up, like huh? us to join as chefs? Yes! Count Manana in! Manana been champing at bit for cookery action! <laughs> yeah. This event's pretty much made for Manana. Word! Oh my god, they use word as a... <laughs> could I... Could I join as well? I like your spirit. You're both very welcome. Looks like you'll have your work cut out for you, eh, boss? You said it, Travis. I'll let you prepare the lucky spice. Oh, Monica's oh, also... Uh... Not that stuff! 
Monica's part there are no binding participating. Rules, no themes to follow. You're free to make whatever you like. But you are expected to bring your own ingredients. Once you have them, take them to Michiba at her canteen. She'll hold on to them for you. Hearing loud and clear. I'll see you at the contest then. Looking forward to it. Okay. Uh Banana not full punches. We rivals now, Miss Miyabi. Yes, let's do this. Since when did you learn to cook, Miyabi? You never told me. <laughs> I've only dabbled, really. Right. We better go out looking for our ingredients, eh? Hold on. We haven't even decided what we're going to make yet. Ah, just testing it. <laughs> sure, Before we man. decide, sure. maybe we should ask around the city first. See what kind of foods they like. Their favorite seasonings. That should yeah, give us I enough guess. to make a start on. True. Not a bad idea. We need some kind of direction to start with before we can think about making anything. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go around getting discussion points. Mio, you okay? There's something on your mind, Mio. I was just thinking, it's unusual for Miyabi to voice her interest in something like this. Before, she'd always try to avoid anything that involved competition. So this is kind of a surprise. Hey, she's living oh, life. I see. Well, all the more reason for us to cheer her on. Yeah. Happiness. All right, asking time. Uh, oh, that's a are? lot. Mm. Everyone apparently. Someone who catches our eye. QBB. Uh huh. Uh huh. Unexpected dish. Okay, there's four. Back you up asking the folk at the canteen, though. They must know lots about the contest. Uh huh. Stranger cuisine, traditional. Ah, uh, so uh. You don't know who the judges are until the day of. Hey, Mwamba. Salvaging, huh? Taking off after a certain uh, ah, blue armored funny. protagonist. Are you guys hungry? So let's see. There's one way over there. The one way over here. We're gonna do the one over here first. Um. That's down the stairs here. Can we find out something from May? She Hello, gave May. Me a nibble dipped in chocolate sauce the other day. A nibble. Uh huh. Said I just teleported over there. <laughs> uh huh. And the last one is kind of down here. Oof, that's on top side, I think. Uh, who are you, Cory? Hello, Cory. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Back home, huh? Shima, Saima. Let's talk to Rosanna. Oh, hello there, Rosanna. People were saying she won the contest before. Big hearty meals. Large portions. We've heard from lots of people now. Okay, I assume that we should probably discuss in the canteen. Ah, that's making me... I'm getting peckish. Do you have any snacks? There we go. Everyone, a moment of your time? Everyone's super excited. 
to get a taste mostly. <laughs> and meanwhile, banana. Meat, crusted meat, rogo, and marin. Smushy rice, aha, uh -huh, soy primal sauce. Uh, we'll do Miyabi's first. Okay, I guess we all have to do both from what I from what it sounds like. Let's bounce. Thanks, I think we everyone. got We've heard from lots of people. Okay, now. yeah, we I do I do have everyone. Go through it all then. Yeah, I already got I already have everything there. Um Shrimp enough. Salmon's gotta know where to look. Need to go talk to Boxy. Riggy, do I know you? Oh, so that's how they're doing. Did you say? Oh, uh, congratulations. <laughs> oh, Boxy. Maybe we should ask her. Hello, Boxy. Can you give us some sauce or something like that? That would be great. Thanks. Boxy. Oh, hey, Miyabi. You're with your friends today. Yes. Sorry if we're bothering you. Not at all. Not at all. Always nice to see you. So what brings you here? Actually, I've decided to enter the cooking contest. Oh, really? I'd like it if you came. I'm going to try as hard as I can. Sweetie, I would love to. I'll be cheering you on all the way. There's one other thing. I have a request, if it's not too much trouble. Tell me, anything I can do to help. Would you mind sharing some of your Soy Primo sauce? Your homemade recipe? My sauce is going to feature. This just keeps getting better and better. Please, take as much as you need. There we go. I'm sure it'll be enough. But if by any chance you run out, just swing by again. There we Romero go. Romero absolutely loves that sauce. I've got jars full of the stuff. Thank you so much! <laughs> You're getting awfully worked up about all this. Just relax and enjoy the experience. Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> now, what did I just say? <laughs> I, I see, I saw Mio and Senna glance at each oh, other so back there. I saw that. I saw that game. Okay. So I guess we go ahead and ah, that's making me hungry. give the ingredients to Mishiba. Great. That should be the last of Miyabi's ingredients. Yes, I think so. Thank you. Now for bananas. Mm. What was on the list again? Was Muttle Marble Aries meat? Killjoy Crusted meat? Cozy Rogel Egg Gems and Lucky Marin Thick Cup? Might be a bit tricksy for friends, but Manana have confidence. Well, I'm glad you're confident in us. Uh, I assume. Oh boy, that's in all sorts of places. That's in every region. <laughs> I guess we'll start from Asia. Is it here? Upper Asia? Upper Asia. 
That's I'm glad I, uh, glad I got that grave. Really happy I got that grave. Level sixty five. Although it's not even it's not even an elite, so this won't be too bad, I don't think. Oh, there's more. Oh, a whole group of them. Uh, can we focus on this one? Charge off on your own. Okay, that's one down. Four in this region. Hmm, up there, huh? Okay. Hey, you all right? Did you swallow some sand? Ugh. I assume this is going to be the Taos, the Rogals. Sorry. I assume this is the Rogals. Something so valuable here. Nope, this is the Marin. This isn't worth our time. Let's end this quickly. Actually, hang on one second. Um... Mighty beast. That way we have a smash art. I think you just randomly KO'd the uh, Hawk. Okay, cool. 
Okay, that all works out. Um, next up is Pentalus region, right? Oh, it's up there. I remember that place. Okay, so that's what that place was for. It's for the... It's for the Colony 11 quest, and then it's for this quest. <laughs> Almost went the wrong way there. I assume they're all gonna fight me. Oh, there's all six of them, huh? Let's all focus on one. Uh oh. Actually, this might be better that we flew, that we got knocked down here. There we go. Oh, did we still not get it though? Oh, we must have needed to uh to fight the main one in the middle. Huh? Is that We didn't even need to fight, we could have just ran away. Oh well. Oh well, got a... Uh... Where is the quest button? Oh, that's right there. That makes things simple. This tiny one. Us. Hello there, tiny crusted. This will do it. I think. It 
since there were no holes in my strategy. Okay. Just random flute to end the battle. Ah, uh, back to the city. And I think that's it. Uh, don't know if there's anything after the cooking. But I assume that that seems about the right length for a hero quest, I think. Okay. Ah, that's making me hungry. All right, let's uh, put our ingredients in. That's all of the ingredients for the both of them. Tippy toppy job. Got everything you need now. Then I think it's about time to start the contest. Is everyone ready? We're mostly ready. Uh, you bet. We're ready. Go ahead and begin. Looks like both the chefs and the judges are ready. Well, ladies and gents, it's time to start another annual cook-off. And who else to narrate the events as they unfold but the city's number one charmer? <laughs> Just kidding, it's me, Travis, your ever affable lost numbers lieutenant. Let's start by introducing our expert panel of judges. The lucky four adjudicators for this year's incredible turnout are... Drumroll, please. Gondor! You've been begging to be a judge for ages now. Looks like it's your lucky day. Oi! Don't you bloody patronize me. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face if you're not careful. Ahem, <clears throat> moving swiftly on. You fancy yourself an avid foodie? Well, let's see how you measure up to the wise and erudite well well. Next up, a lover of music and all things lyrical, it's Mr. Boomer. He's got a refined palate for music and food, and I'm sure he's about to give us a piece of his mind. Last but not least, we have our youngest judge on record. Introducing San. Far as I can tell, he just plain enjoys food. He'll eat whatever you can throw at him. <laughs> yeah, give me all your food. <laughs> we want you four to judge the meals gonna make on that their own meme. merits as honestly as possible. Now, let's introduce our chefs. First up's our Lost Numbers ace cook, Nisik. So, how are you feeling? Then you've got the You look like a protagonist of your own game. <laughs> Watch it, you. No intimidating the judges. You're gonna scare the kid. I... I don't think Gondor's you gonna be score, scared. You do it with food. Calm and peaceful-like. Next up, it's our very own boss. Or should that be Elder? Uh, oh, uh, let's just say uh, Madam Monica. Just stick to the usual. Who's next? All right, boss it is. Next, we have Uro Boris's very own queen of cuisine, Manana. Manana ready to steal away hearts and stomachs of all. And whispers on the grapevine tell me our last contestant is a rising star. She's everyone's sweetheart, Miss Miyabi. You go, girl. <laughs> and those are our four entrants for today. Shall we get started? Then Nisik, if you'd like to reveal the meal. Feast your eyes on this. So cool. Well, well, well. Applying <laughs> heat cause emergence of emerald green undertones. Shell gradually translucent as it shine with beryl glaze. Behold, the jade lobster. Is this thing edible? Mmm. Hey, 
this is pretty tasty and juicy. Mm. Contrary to expectation, taste pop and lock inside mouth. Big bang of umami fill entire taste buds. supposed to eat this I don't get it maybe Nisik would be kind enough to assist I beg your pardon let's check in with our next culinary combatant it's our very own boss <laughs> I'll find a chink in your armor my dish is the monocurry special oh come on got tasty sausages in it well 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 only heard rumors but monarch curry said to be legendary meal among lost numbers I'll have me some of that oh, damn you beach queen you got the spice in a spot on <laughs> still going with that huh Vegetables. You okay there, Boomer? Flavor. Normally distinctive, yet subtly veiled here. And spiciness perfectly compensate. But despite this, single plate appear positively heaped with nutrition. Is dish spice renowned or something deeper? Ah, it's making my tongue all prickly. <laughs> Oops. Guess the kids' taste buds weren't quite prepared for that just yet. <laughs> Funny, everyone normally loves the stuff. Did I add too much lucky spice? I'm sure your bellies are gradually getting rounder, but there's plenty more where that came from. The next contender is... Manana! Finally! Time for big moment! Delicious dish of Manana is... Secret recipe of Nupon, passed down in greatest of stealthy, or rather, little spin on traditional version. Doodle noodles, banana style. Prepare for taste beyond taste. That, that does look yummy. good. This is gonna be awesome. Or at least as good Whoa. as it could be. That's gonna be a banger. On uh, on a these well, well bite form small pool. To think Nopon exist that could recreate recipe of legend. Oh. <laughs> uh, Riku, Riku wants a bite of that. Thank, thank you for your, uh, thank you for your review, mm. Boober. Thank you. Mm. That bowl is the well, size of his never head. Never dream of chance to eat perfect doodle noodles in lifetime. Taste is beyond compare. Such level of extravagant. Well, well, good, well. Rocket into skies above. How the crap is this so good? I don't know what to say. Oh, the competition's fierce, but we've got one more dish lined up for you all. Take it away, Miyabi. Okay. Here's the meal I'll be presenting today. Oh. Oh, it doesn't look very special. I guess when you put it alongside the others, yeah. But it clearly made with love. Preparation of dish reflect nature of chef, and this, no exception. Ah, oh, it feels... how should I put it? Comforting. Hmm, so understated, yet so palatable. Hard to express in words. It's, like, uh, 
It's home food. Also, you're cutting. You're cutting nothing. I eat this fish all the time, but I don't think it's ever been this tasty before. Gosh, I wonder how she prepared it. I'd love to know. Same. Why don't we go and ask her once the contest's over? May, you have the best ideas. Now that looks scrumptious. They look like they're loving the soy primo sauce too. Oh, he actually talked. It's just nice home food. That's... Now, I hate to break it to you folks, but it's time for the judges to make their decision. Drum roll, Which please. Which of these four outstanding meals has satisfied their stomachs? I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats. The winner of this year's cooking contest is... Parum, 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 parum. Do we do we not get to know? It looks like everyone's eating all sorts of food. Did did <laughs> we could call like five servings of that? Did everyone win? Congratulations, Manana. Okay, Manana won. Of course. <laughs> Feels good at the top. Honestly, that's probably the most realistic outcome. Better look next time, Yabby. Thanks, everyone. You all helped me so much. I didn't make first place, but I'm glad everyone got the chance to try my food. Manana was kind enough to raise the idea. Thank you, Manana. Aw, not to mention. It would be terrible shame for friends to miss out on delicious nom noms of Miyabi. Nisik looks in a right mood. I can hear you. Can't let him get away with this, though, can we? We'll lend you a hand next time. <laughs> hmm. How'd you like the monocurry, Gondor? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Same as you always make it. The name's dumb, though. Can you come up with something better? You say that every time. I don't see the problem, personally. I actually kind of like it. I'm not asking your opinion. I'm saying it's freaking embarrassing. I've still got some left, by the way. You want a bowl or not? Don't change the subject. And of course I want a bowl. Oh, that contest was so much fun. Maximum agree. It, that Plus that's like the most learning experience. That's like the most and conversation wholesome conversation repertoire. Gondor's ever had with Monica. If that's your plan, would you mind teaching me some more about cooking? Mama? Even though Miyabi already plenty good at cooking. Oh, I'm honored that you'd say so. But I really don't have a lot of experience. I'd love it if you could teach me some more. Oh, then let Manana pick up what Miyabi putting down. Miyabi asking to become apprentice of Manana? That's right. If it's not a problem. No problem. Manana, welcome with open wings. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Manana. Ah, before Manana forget. Should snaffle up recipes of Monica and Nisik while still have chance. Oh, good idea. Let's do that. Hey, Miyabi. You did great there. Your food was amazing. Yeah. <sighs> I said before that I did this for the city. 
they were the highest priority in my mind. But really, it was for the both of you. I so wanted you to try it. It was for us? This world, it's filled with nothing but tragedy and hardship for us. But now, after coming here, that feels like a distant dream. Yeah, that's right. You've always kept my wishes in your heart, haven't you? That's why you brought me here, right? Because we're alive. We get to see these sights. Thank you. <sighs> no, Miyabi. Thank you. And thus... And there goes oh, so Miyabi's story. Okay, um... I think that's where we're gonna end it for today. Next time we will probably continue the main story for a bit. Uh, oh, so that's how they're doing. We're, I'm pretty sure we're coming right back to the city. So uh, next time we're gonna continue the story. Um, I might get someone to rank 15 on uh, on Troubadour just so I can probably land. Yeah, probably get lands to level 15 so I can get Swift Song on someone. It's just a flat. Yeah, it's just a flat. Uh, it'll be 15%, I would assume, by the time I get to level 15. Or I might even try to get to level 20, but I'm pretty sure at that point I'm going to over-level so hard. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh wait, lands is already... Lands is still level 1. Neo's level 10? Ooh, do I have space in your skills? Mm, I guess I can take physical defense out. It's only increasing it by 4%. And give you, uh, give you the accuracy and evasion by 15. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, we'll see. I might I might not even do it, but uh we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, uh that's where we're gonna end it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh move on over here. And next time, we're going to go ahead, go to the event point, continue the story, go back to the city, and make a new ship. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I get that's what we're going to do. So I will see you all in the next episode.